In this example, I am going to show you how to change and choose the format before you start creating a presentation. Following are features you need to learn and know about before the practical IGCSE ICT exam. The scenario I've chosen is a travel agency that needs you to create an introduction to their company and the trips and services they offer. The first thing to do is open the View tab. There we select the Slide Master. In the Master view we're going to click on the first slide. We select the text and we're going to change it to Arial. So we click here inside and we can write Arial and press Enter. We have to do the same thing for the text in the body of the document or on the slide. Click, write Arial, Enter. We are going to delete the fifth and fourth level. So we only have three levels. And as you can see, if you click on the other slides, they're all Arial at this stage because we've changed the format to only include the font Arial. We are now going to include a footer for the document. So we go to Insert, we select Header and Footer, and we select Date and Time. Well, we want to include Date and Time. We choose Slide Number. Footer is usually your name and center number and candidate number. I'm only going to put my name here. And we do not want it to show on the title slide. So we tick in this box here and then we select apply to all. I have a logo already that I want to appear on every slide. So I'm going to click here in the header. I'm going to insert the picture and this picture is on my desktop and is named logo. So I'm going to double click on the logo. I'm going to click and drag it here to the corner of the slide. Increase the size a little bit. And now I'm going to change the background of all the slides. To do that, we go to the Slide Master over here. And I'm going to choose the background style and the color black. Now I'm going to close the Master View. I'm now going to add the title of the company, Top Rental Services. And this slideshow is about their service, so we're going to write here our service. And to add another slide, we right click and select here New Slide. Now this slide is going to have bullets and it's going to have a title. So the title here would be Contents, as this is the first page and it's going to show you what slides are to come after the Contents page. And the following slides are going to be Properties, Trips, Transport, and Tour Guides. Now we need to create the following slides, and they should be in the right order. Properties, which is the title for the first one. The next one was Trips, so I'm going to create a new one. The next one was Transport. And the last one was Tour Guides. New slide and Tour Guides. I'm now going to add to the Trips slide. And the trips that they offer are Jeep Safari, Submarine, Slide and Splash, and many more, but that's enough to begin with. Now to add images to this page, I am going to go to Insert, and we're going to click on Picture. Now, in Booking Trips, I have some pictures already, and the one I'm going to choose is Jeeps. We're going to minimize it a little bit, and 
going to put it to the side next to the text. Now check the picture styles over here. Some of them are really nice. This one is usually good, but then add the same style to all the images that you use. So everything will be consistent. I'm now going to add more pictures, one for Submarine and one for Slide and Splash. So we click outside the frame of this picture and let's find Submarine. Here's one for Submarine. Same size, that's good. Slide and Splash, Insert, Picture. And Slide and Splash would be this one here. Okay, a little bit bigger, so we minimize it so it's more or less the same size. And we put the same frame for these two pictures. Now notice that you can go behind the text with the cursor and press Shift and Enter on the keyboard to increase the space between the bullets. And by doing that, we have more space for the pictures. Even a more space would be needed here. So here we have for in, here we have for the Safari and the picture for slide and splash. And then you can increase the sizes and change that so it fits the best. Now sometimes we need to have notes because the speaker might not remember everything that they're going to say. And I have some notes on the Jeep Safari in another document. So I will copy this text by right clicking, select and copy. And instead of including this on the slide, I would like to put it here in the notes, right click and paste. And if you're asked to print the notes in the exam, what you would do is you go to the office button, you press print, and here you can select what you're going to print. And with this, we're going to select notes pages. And it would be good to see the print preview now. So we select the preview button. And here we can see the first page, and we did not include any notes for the first page. But here, as you can see, we've got the text with the trips slide. And that's exactly how we wanted it to print. And then you would select print here. In some cases, you would be asked to print out a handout. To do that, we select the office button and print. Print what? And we select here handouts. And if there are supposed to be three per slide, we select three and we can see how the option changes. We can always see how it will look like and this is how it would come out. Now here you can also change the orientation and options. And here we close. If you're asked to add animation to the slides, we do need to select all the slides because the animation is added between each slide. We go to animations. Here you can choose what animation you want to appear between the slides. And here we're going to change it to medium as fast as too quick. Let's try it out. We click here on the button saying slideshow. And here you can see how it has been animated between the slides. When you want to exit the slideshow, you press escape on the keyboard. And here we're back in the slide view. If you're meant to add custom animation, we click this button over here and this will open and you will have to say what happens and in what order. So we're going to select the title and we're going to add an effect and transplines. We'll say slow or medium. Medium would be fine. Then the next title is our service and that should come in second. So again blinds and also medium. And then we can see how this comes out by pressing the play button. As you can see, the first title and then comes the second title. And you can also play with the settings over here. If the show is presented by someone, we do not change to automatically ask the person with advance to the next slide manually, as we can see here on mouse click. But if we have to set the slideshow up so that it can be played continuously, 
we do change this option to automatically after and we set timings and we can test it by each slide uh, depending on the text and how much time the person would need so this would be set here then you would have to select the tab slideshow and set up slideshow and this option will be selected loop continuously until you press the escape button using timings if present that means if you've changed the timings as we spoke of and now you could save this by selecting OK. And if you have to give evidence for this during the exam or in the exam, you would print screen this window and you would also need to show the timings for each slide. And that can be done through the animation over here. You can also add a hyperlink to a text in a presentation. And to do that, you select the text or highlight it. You select Insert and Hyperlink. Here you would put the address online. In this case, toprentalservice.com. And this is the text to display. And then you can press OK. If it was a place in this document, for example, the contents page, you would select your place in this document. Now I'm going to press OK. And if we go to the presentation view, we can see how it comes up. And as this is now automatically advancing, I can't show you, so I'm going to press Escape. From the first slide, I'm going to go to Animation and only select on mouse click. I am going to select the slideshow view again. Up comes the presentation. I press Next button to get the text and as you can see this has changed to a link and if I press it it will open the website online.